five quick power query tips. Okay, what if you want to filter a column, but want to ignore the case? So I want to include red, capital letters, and red. Well, if you go to the drop down and say text filter contains, and then you choose, doesn't really matter, red, capital letters, click OK. All right, that only includes the capital red, but text.contains actually can be passed a comma, ignore, compare it, ordinal, ignore case. So you press enter, and there we go. So that's tip number one. All right, tip number two. What if you want to grab or change the end of the week day? So if I go date, add column, go to the date button and choose week, end of week, for example. Okay, this is the 6th of October. And let me just show you what day that is. So date, let's go to day, name of day. That gives me a Sunday. Okay, by default, Sunday's the last day of the week. What if I, what if Friday's the last day of the week? Well, back at this step, inserted end of week, this little function, date.endofweek, can take another parameter, comma, okay, day, dot. Now, if I want Friday to be the end of the week, do not pick Friday, because what it asks for is the first day of the week. So you've got to pick Saturday if you want Friday to be the end of the week. So day dot Saturday. Okay, go and click on the tick. This date now changes. And once I add the day of the week, just to show you, Friday. Those are all Fridays. Awesome. All right, another little one, um, a little hack. If you want to multiply two columns based on an if statement, Okay, let's go to the custom column. And I want to say, if um, uplift equals yes. I'm ultimately going to do a multiplication, but I just want to check it out. So I'm just going to go rate else units. Okay, but I really want to do units times rate or something more complex. Oh, sorry, got to put then in there. My bad, click OK. Great, right, so then I go back in to edit the function via the little cog. But it brings up the wizard, not my original custom column. So what do you do? Well, to force the original wizard to pop up, just go and break your formula in some way. In this one, I'm going to do a plus one. I'm going to edit it. That's not possible in the wizard. So I press enter, and that might even error out the step. But what it does do, is bring back the wizard. Yes, okay. So then I can say then units times rate or something like that. Awesome. Okay, and then what if I wanna reorder some columns? Let's say I wanna put um, custom before end of the week, but it hard codes in all the column names. Okay, that might be fine. But what if sometimes your data doesn't have day name for some reason? All right, if I go back and I delete day name, okay, remove, or I don't even do that step. Let's pretend for some reason day name isn't there the next time you refresh. Okay, let's just get rid of it to show you. And I go reordered columns. It freaks out and it says the column day name wasn't found. Well table reordered columns can take a parameter of ignore, okay, missing field ignore. Press enter, and now it still works. Or if you really wanna show the fact that it's missing, change it to use nulls, and then the day name shows up, but with nulls in it. Pretty cool. And the final tip, have you ever had a query take ages when sort of changing from one step to another? Okay, 
let's actually try and get this to refresh and then I'm changing and it's just waiting right click rename is grayed out well just simply go to properties and then you can rename the step while it's refreshing okay hopefully you found those useful let me know what you think catch you in the next video before you go check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button thanks for watching